Yo, what is up guys? Deathfire D coming at you with another YouTube video. And this one isn't a tutorial, this is more of a review on the Pingendo software. Uh, at least I think that's how you pronounce it. Pingendo? Ping Pingendo? Yeah, it's probably Pingendo. But anyways, it is a website building IDE software that basically allows anybody to create a website in mere minutes. Um, you don't have to know any HTML or CSS to use the software. Obviously, if you do know those things, you can do more with the software. But by all means, you can be a complete noob. All you need to know is how to drag and drop things. Now, Pingendo offers two different flavors of the software. There's the free version, which obviously has some limitations. And there's the premium version, which has no limitations and you can use it for commercial purposes. So um, just to point out the free version pretty much has all the same features as the premium. The only difference is every once in a while when you save a page you'll get a pop-up saying please buy the premium version and the second thing is every page that you create the software will add a little button at the bottom right of every page that says the site was built with Pingendo or um, powered by Pingendo. I'm not sure the, re the correct terminology, but you'll probably see in a few minutes when I start navigating around things. So yeah, I highly recommend you guys try the free version out and hopefully buy the premium version because this makes it insanely easy to build things. And it uses some really good software for the back end portion of it. It uses Bootstrap to keep things responsive responsive meaning that the site will look good and I like uh, mobile devices tablets laptops desktops you name it the site should look good and uh, obviously it's got like jQuery and some other lesser known things like font awesome uh, font awesome allows you to add some uh, icons or indicators to links and stuff without actually having to use images so yeah Let's jump into the software. I'm going to give you a quick run through of how easy it is to build a website. Now when you first open up Pingendo, you're going to get a screen which you're not going to see right now since I already selected a new project. But you're going to get a pop-up that asks if you want to create a blank project or use one of their pre-made themes. Now I clicked a blank project and uh, once you do that it creates these files and saves them into a folder of your choosing I'm gonna show you that folder real quick so here are the files it creates a blank.html a styleguide.html and a theme.css file and a theme.scss file uh, these you can um, as you're editing using Pingendo they'll update here uh, or if you don't want to use Pingendo, you can always open them up with a normal HTML editor. If you were to pick the theme selection, it would open up a, oops, not this link. It would open up this page, which is the Pingendo templates page. And uh, they've got a decent list of things that you can select from. They've got some pre-made landing pages that you can preview or download and open right in Pingendo. Uh, they've got some themes and they've even got some wireframes. Now these are all or they should all be free and they're completely customizable so once you open them in Pingendo you can add more widgets, you can change the colors, you can change the images, you can do pretty much anything you want. So back to the software since we just created a new project I just opened up the blank.html, which I was editing earlier. Let me uh, let me open up the code. So if you know HTML, you can actually go in here and change up the code. In my case, I just want to delete this all the way down to the body actually right here now uh, before we go any further I just want to show you by default Pingendo will add um, 
The fontawesome.css file, like I mentioned earlier, allows you to add certain buttons and links to it. Uh, it adds the theme.css, which is where all of our CSS is going to be saved. It also has um, the jQuery.slim file, which if you know jQuery, it is a JavaScript library that allows you to do some amazing things. I'm not going to dig into it. Um, adds popper.js and bootstrap.mini.js and the little uh, logo indicator that I mentioned earlier that will show up on free pages saying the site was built with Pingendo. So we're going to exit out of that and uh, as you can see here's the little button. You can actually customize it too or delete it but I highly recommend you leaving it or buying the paid version of the software because they have been working their butts off making this <coughs> making this amazing software for everybody to use. So yeah, let's jump into it and start building a website really quick. So off to the left here, you're going to see all these little icons. You can click on them and it'll show you some widgets that you can use and there'll be sub menus. So right now we're on navs. We can go to covers, click on articles, Features, galleries, social. They've got pretty much everything you can think of. And this list is constantly evolving. So if you don't see something on here that you use constantly, chances are it'll eventually be added. When I first started using this software, when it was in alpha, they had a very small selection of widgets. Ooh, excuse me. And styles to choose from. But over time, they started adding more and more and more. Another cool thing is they have the grid built in. So if you've worked with Bootstrap before, you know that there is a grid system. And um, basically you can designate how many columns or rows you want. Well, Pingendo has this built in so you can actually add in, say you want two columns. You can just drag it over and you got two columns now. You could throw news into this column and events into the other column. And if you wanted to create another row, if you hover over this, um, I don't know why it's not doing it now, but you can click on the pluses and it'll add columns and more columns. And usually you're able to click on the row. I don't know why it's not working, but then you can click the up plus and the down plus to add more. But yeah, let's back up and go back to our widgets area. You can jump to wireframes or grid or text buttons, media, navs, tabs, lists, cards, forms, and other. Other, they've got modal windows that you can use. Uh, basically, when you click on a button, you can have a pop-up window appear. That's what a modal is. So, yep, they've got modals built in. Um, so, yeah, let's jump into it and start building a website. So, we want a navigation bar at the top. And uh, I kind of like like this this green one, so we're gonna drag that over and let go. And as you can see, really simple. Just drag stuff over, and it's there. You don't have to write any HTML. And then when you click on elements, you can actually change their colors. So that just changed the text colors. You can change the background colors. And if you don't like these pre-selected colors, oops, that's too bright. If you don't like these pre-selected colors, these are the default colors. So you can actually click on theme and completely change them here. Or if you want to do it individually, you can click on the new style button, which will allow you to specify custom CSS for that particular widget or element. So yeah. I like the way it is, just going to leave it there. Let's click on the sidebar again, and we want to add in this hero image intro. So drag that over right underneath the menu, and uh, yeah, it's there. Now, if you want to start editing text or deleting things, all you got to do is double click on things, or double click and then single click on something, and you can actually start deleting or adding text. 
So this is a test. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And there you go. Simple as that. And then if you don't like that button, you can delete it. You can change colors, like I said earlier. You can change the alignment so it goes left. Pingendo makes it insanely easy to make basic changes really quick. So yeah, let's go back over here. Click on galleries. Let's add in a... Hmm... So we'll add in this, throw that at the bottom. Add some text. Oh, they've also got videos and stuff. You can add in uh, pagination. Oh yeah, let me show you the grid. So underneath this, we can add in two, two columns. So we got our two columns, and now we can actually drag text into it. So if we like this contact card, we can drag it into this column, and now we got a card. If we like this thing, through that in there, now we can select off of this and see. The two columns are now populated with two different things. Now let's finish this up by adding in a footer. There's a variety of different things we can do. We're going to drag this one down because I like it. It's got a little map. And uh, this stuff's all customizable. This is using uh, Google, Google's map uh, embed widget. So you can change the key in the center and the marker using Pingendo. Or you can actually go to Google Maps and grab the embed code and just paste it in here and it should update this automatically. If it doesn't, you might need to do some tweaking. But yeah, really easy. Um, so yeah, then we just save it. And we can actually test the, the responsiveness of the page. Uh, Pingendo adds these little icons up top. So right now we're on desktop. We can click on mobile to see what it looks like there. And uh, it doesn't look too bad. Everything stacks correctly. We can click on tablet. That's what it looks like in tablet view. And laptop. And so on and so forth. So let's save the page. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes when you hit save, you'll get this pop-up saying, Pingendo Premium, you should buy it, blah, blah, blah. So we're exiting out, and we're going to go to our folder from earlier and copy that so we can open it in a web browser. So if we go back to the web browser, paste that in, and then click on our blank.html, here's what the actual page looks like. It's built, and it's fully functioning. And uh, if we go down to different views, I can actually show you that some widgets have mobile features built in. For example, the menu, all the menu items disappeared, but there's this hamburger menu, and when you click it, it expands and collapses. So that's a cool thing that Pingendo does. It utilizes the Bootstrap framework. Uh, if you've used Bootstrap before, <coughs> and there's something in it that you use a lot, chances are it should work in Pingendo. Hopefully, I know uh, previous versions of Pingendo had their own custom version of Bootstrap, but I think the newer versions have done away with that and they use uh, stock versions of Bootstrap. Not 100% sure, um, but yeah, keep that in mind. So moving on to their website, like I mentioned earlier, they have two different versions. The free version, you can't use for commercial use and they've got ads built in but it is somewhat fully featured everything that's in the premium version should work in the free version and obviously the premium version uh, you can use for commercial use um, there's no ads it's fully featured and it's continuously being updated yada 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 pretty much the same as the free just no ads and you can use it to make money um, and it's 
a hundred bucks for a one-time payment that's actually really good especially if you're constantly making websites or making changes to pages or even um, if you are working for yourself and you're making mock-ups this is where I found it mostly useful for me because in Photoshop I'd create wireframes and mock-ups and then I'd save a screenshot of it and I'd send it to the client and the client would make suggestions or changes that they want made to the page and then I'd have to go back into Photoshop make those changes and then resave the image and send it back to them there was a lot of going back and forth but with Pingendo I can just drag over widgets save the HTML and either send a screenshot of the page or I can just upload the HTML to my web server and say here's what the page will look like when it's done um, do you like the design and if they don't I can make the changes on the fly and they're able to see it over the phone which is really helpful so yeah keep that in mind guys I highly recommend trying out the free version and if you love it please buy the premium version um, I just want to say I'm not being sponsored by this guy these guys <coughs> but I love their software mainly because they're constantly making updates and it's getting better and better um what am I leaving out oh the style guide when you create a blank project it's going to create a style guide with all of the default colors so you know what they are and what each of the default styles are gonna look like so it's got it's like um, typology the buttons the navigation these little icons are actually font awesome icons like I mentioned earlier so you can change those if you wanted to uh, I forgot where it is somewhere in here uh, icon well it's somewhere in there you can change the icons if you wanted to um, forms the different pictures and galleries and carousels that you can use these um, because we're in the editor they don't do anything but if you viewed them on an actual page <coughs> if you press the back and next it would actually cycle through the photos same with the little pagers if you clicked on those it would cycle through the different cards list groups and tables and navigation and the different background photos and all the different filters that you can use off to the right here all you gotta do is click on something and check or uncheck and it adds that filter super easy so yeah that's the the style guide preview so um if you guys like this basic rundown of Pingendo and you you want tutorials on me digging deeper and actually building a site with it please leave a comment in the section below and I'll try my best to start making videos on this if you like this video please like and subscribe it really helps me out guys and if you have any suggestions or constructive criticism please leave it in the comments below I'm constantly reading the comments and responding even in my older videos that I made like two or three years ago always watching and always reading so until next guy next time ugh. until next time guys this is Deathfire D saying have a good day and peace out.